Shalom and welcome to Pesach Tevah. This year is entitled, Rav Chaim was the Abba of our Shechuna. Amazing. I was talking to a young man in his 40s. Uh, he was not around the 50s, 60s in Bnei Brak before Rav Chaim was famous. He was in Bnei Brak in the 80s, 90s, when Rav Chaim was already picking up a uh, reputation as an unbelievable world-class Tavachacham at Tzaddik. He said when he was a little kid, they had a discussion about Chumash, Pshan Chumash. He grew up around the corner from Rav He told me, oh no, let's go to Rav Chaim, we'll ask him shot. I said, the door of the house was open. He was the Abba of the Shechuna. People would go, ask questions about Pshat, about this. This young man, this man in his 40 told me, yeah, he had some, some little game at home and he brought it to show it to Rav Chaim. That's what they did. And it was unbelievable thing. This God Al Hador, who already knew Kol Tarkula forty years ago, his house was an open house. So we know him as a Rav Chaim, where he still had an open house, but as he got older, restricted. It wasn't twenty four seven that he could just walk in there. It was a little bit more limited, only because of his old age. But in his younger years, younger years, in his sixties, open house where the kids all felt. Parents, he told me, his parents, any issue, the parents said, oh, let's just go to Rav Chaim. The mom would say, oh, I have to go to the Rabbi now. Let's knock on the door and walk in. And the father, oh, yeah, let's discuss with Rav Chaim. He was the Tati, the father of the community. And it's a glimpse that we don't always know about this. We actually saw this as he got older as well. It stayed that way to a degree. But it's unbelievable to think of Gadol of Gedolim, just a Tati of all the children and the families in the community. May his memory always serve as a blessing inspiration to all of us.